Okay, so I can't really easily record this while I'm doing it, but what I'm doing here is here, let me show you. I have the trench dug and where the driveway culvert is gonna go, I'm like grading it out so there's an even slope across the 30 feet of culvert that I have. And then I'm compressing the dirt. I'll do this with one hand here. Move over, come back a little bit. A lot easier with two hands. And then again, compact that dirt down. So you can see here, it's kind of hard to see, but it's all compacted where the driveway is going to be. And now I'm going to put some uh, gravel down. I got some. Uh, uh, like half inch to one inch uh, crushed with fines that I'm going to put in there so that'll so that'll compact really nicely um, so that it won't allow drainage to go through the, the gravel but it will prevent the uh, culvert from sinking. We want all that drainage to go through the culvert. So uh, I'm going to go grab some gravel and dump it in the trench. Got my gravel down in the trench now, and I am just going to spread this out nice and even, keep a nice uh, grade. Um, I guess at least an eighth of an inch, or, or actually at least a quarter inch per foot. I'm definitely going to have more uh, grade than that because I got a pretty uh, steep uh, slope here. But uh, I'm just going to spread this out nice and even, and then I'm going to lay the culvert in. So I'm ready to do my coupling. What I have here is a coupler. And uh, right now it's loose. So for the most part, it's just going to slip right on. The corrugations of the galvanized pipe are at a 45 degree angle spiraling down the whole length, except for the ends. There's about a foot of 90 degree ribs, and that is so the coupler can latch on. Just got to get it loose enough to fit over, and it's just two carriage bolts with a, with a tightening nut. Okay, so there's three ribs on the coupler, which means you got to go on two ribs of one pipe and to one rib of another. I don't know why they make it that way. You'd think that it would be two and two, but it's not, at least in this situation. So the coupler is on. Now I'm gonna get my 10 foot pipe, drop it in, and couple it together. It appears you need to take the, uh, the nuts completely off to get this to be loose enough to install easily. Okay, so I got the couple completely on one. I'm going to butt the two pipes together. Probably helps to have two people. Now I'm going to, now they're basically lined up. Coupler is on, so I'm gonna thread these nuts back on. Okay, coupling is now hella tight. It is one solid unit, 30 feet long, and now we got these little voids at certain points where the culvert is not making contact with the gravel below it. So I'm just gonna start shoveling that gravel in and compacting it in. I got some gravel over top, filling in all the gaps, and uh, just doing my best to compact this. When uh, put some dirt on top of it, I'll just drive over it with the excavator a whole bunch, and that will do a great deal of compaction.
had some rain so we can see my trench in action and my culvert over here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh that water's flowing. Right into the culvert. Let's check out the other side. Ah, oh, there it is. Water's going through the culvert, down the <laughs> trench that's covered by parts of a tree. So, got to a point in the woods here where we have a hill, and the hill was too steep of a grade to, uh, to drive down. So what I'm doing right now, um, first I cut down all the trees in the area, 